Uh, me either. Uh, no less than two, mind you. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we've had some interesting chats uh, over the years that we've been talking here. And I think one of the most important things that we uh, always remind people of is, you know, life is, well, Tom Cochran, life is a highway, right? Yeah. As you drive down the road, things are changing all the time. Your life is too, and your insurance needs change equally, right? They do. They do. And, you know, when things change, you need to make sure that your insurance is right there with you. And I'm talking... Something as basic as you change your email address or change your phone number or change from getting your mail at home to a P.O. box or vice versa. You know, these are all little tiny things that you make, need to make sure your, your insurance company agent know about. But let's go a little deeper, all right? Let's say you decide, you know what? This house is just so big, I'm going to Airbnb part of it. What? No, well, that's 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 kind of a seismic difference of coverage exposure there. Um so you really should have a dialogue and make sure you have the proper coverage. So uh, um, so you're talking like taking a, say, a two-story colonial style house and turning it into maybe like an apartment type yeah, building? maybe okay. you had an I in-law was... section to your home. Maybe you just want to rent out a room. Uh, we, we see it all, Jeff. We really do. And it's all for good intention, without a doubt. Um, but these are things that change, you know, maybe you have a finished basement. Hey, that'd be a great spot. Let me throw a little kitchenette in there. There's a bathroom and a bedroom and a living room. And you know what? We can make some money. That's great. Monetize, do some great things with it. But you have now introduced a business exposure to your house. And guess what a homeowner policy excludes? Um, we talked about this last week <laughs> when we talked, uh, was it last week? The week before we talked about like folks selling eggs and maple syrup uh -huh. and stuff like that. It falls it, right in line with that. Okay. It really does. So, uh, so you really need to be understanding that you have now introduced a different exposure that your homeowner policy is not addressing and you need to address it. And believe it or not, there's plenty of ways to do that. So it's not like it's going to be turmoil for you to, to do this, but you may have to, you may be with a company that has a zero tolerance for any type of short-term rental of any part of your home. And then you find that there's a company out there. We have a few. They're like, yeah, sure. Here's what we'll do. This is simple. Boom. Done. You're all set. And it's very easy and, and many times not as expensive as one would think to accommodate. You know, I've got a couple of neighbors up on 14 uh, that have done something similar, although it's not to their existing structure. They've gotten those those little like tiny homes. Oh yeah. You know, uh, I, I don't even know the square footage on them, but um, there's two set right upside the road. Um, they're kind of face to face of each other. Uh -huh. And then just a little bit before that, well, a little further south down 114, uh, one of my neighbor's son is building one as an Airbnb. Sure. Sure. You know, and I've had people tell me, oh, I don't need to worry about that because I've got, you know, Airbnb and Verbo, they have built in liability coverage for me. So I don't need to worry about making any change to my home. Quite the contrary, because yes, they are giving you the li the liability. That's great. Their liability can have limitations. I, I'll be honest, I have not read through the entire thing, um, but I do understand the way that I understand it is yes, there's liability in the uh, in the part of renting, but you still have some liability exposures that I think would be outside of their purview. More than that, a loss could occur to your property as a result of this rental, and that's not a liability exposure. That's a property exposure, and as far as I can tell, there's no property coverage. So now you have a loss to your property as a result of a business. Again, you're going to play in that exclusion realm, uh, or at least the gray area of, which is not a place I like to play. Well, when we think Airbnbs and you saying loss, you know, most folks in their mind would conjure up a like a fire or something like that. Yeah. But I mean, when you really think about it, this these is are no, one example. Well, they're they're no different than a hotel room, and what the hotel rooms usually look like uh, the following yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. So you want to make sure you're thinking of that. So that's kind of one thing. But another one too is who owns the place that you have. Who owns your property? And now we've we've completely stopped that conversation with Airbnb. We've changed gears here, Jeff. So now, is the home in your name? Is it in yours and your spouse's name? Is it in yours and family member's name? Because maybe it was a hand-me-down from the family, like a, a keep it the family type of property. Is it in an LLC? Is it in a corporation? You know, remember that the insurable interest needs to be identified and protected by the policy. So if the name is in Michael Barrett, but I really should be an MBLLC, I should have MBLLC as the insured interest on the property that I'm insuring, and that goes for vehicles as well. So you really need to be aware of if you're making these changes, and, lot, and especially this time of year, tax time, a lot of people are thinking, okay, how can I decrease my tax liability? Well, here's a way. Well, now you've maybe created this LLC, and now you're funding it with your property and your vehicles. 
make sure you are addressing that and protecting the LLC by your insurance. Another one too is maybe you uh, you have a, a loved one that's passed away and now another family member is just going to go ahead and live in the house. Again, seismic change. That's no longer an owner-occupied residence. That is technically whether there's rent being paid or not. In the eyes of insurance, that's a rental exposure. So just these are things that really should be prompting you to look and, and see what the options are. Well, definitely sounds like we could dive way deeper into this. Well, I could bore the bejeebers out of you. Uh, Come it on. It wouldn't be boring. It'd be educational. But we don't have the time, and you've got plenty for folks to call and talk to you. Yes, you can give us a call, 748-5224. Find us on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury online, thebarrettagency.com. Google, Facebook, and YouTube. Just look for Barrett Insurance Agency. And Jeff, real quick, next week. I got a really cool announcement about IDK Can for you. So. Oh, we like cool announcements, yeah. especially when it involves the Northeast Kingdom Cancer Action Network. Yes, sir. All right. We're we excited. look forward to that. Have a great week. Folks, yes. we go back to the music with the weekend and Swedish Health Mafia.